Now, cable end preparation on 15 kV Oconite UROJ cable with concentric neutrals will be demonstrated. First and foremost, be sure to read and follow the accessory instructions. Using a tape measure, measure the jacket cutback distance and mark with a writing utensil. Next, a piece of electrical tape is wrapped around the cable at that mark. Using a splicing knife, ring cut the jacket using the electrical tape as a guide. With polyethylene jackets, it may be necessary to make multiple passes at the ring cut to cut sufficiently deep enough for removal. Be careful not to nick the underlying concentric neutral. Next, using a pair of needle or square nose pliers, grab one concentric neutral and roll it towards the jacket ring cut. Be sure to follow the natural helix of the concentric neutral to avoid damaging the underlying semicon. Continue rolling the concentric neutral around the tip of the pliers until enough leverage can be garnered to pull the remaining length of concentric neutral to the jacket ring cut. When complete, remove the jacket and gather the neutral wires together. For demonstration purposes, the neutral wires will be cut and taped back. Next, using a tape measure, measure the semicon cutback distance and mark with a writing utensil. Holding the Ripley banana peeler against the end of the cable, set the blade depth to approximately 75% of the semicon thickness. Position the banana peeler at the mark and circumferentially score the semicon. Next, use the banana peeler to make longitudinal cuts from the circumferential score to the end of the cable. Longitudinal cuts should be made such that one quarter to one half inch strips are produced. Making too wide of strips will cause the semicon to prematurely break in the next step. Also, be careful not to accidentally cut into the underlying insulation as this may cause premature accessory failures. Using needle nose pliers, grab a strip of semicon at the end of the cable. It's okay to take a small portion of insulation with the semicon strip as this portion of the insulation will be removed when preparing for the underlying connector. Roll the semicon strip around the tip of the pliers towards the semicon circumferential score. When an adequate length of semicon strip has been rolled back, one can pull the remaining strip length back with a slow and steady motion towards the circumferential score. Nearing the semicon circumferential score, be sure to tear the strip at a right angle to the score. Doing so eliminates the creation of unwanted voids at the score. Proceed with the remaining semicon strips until all of the semicon is removed.
Next, using a tape measure, measure the insulation and conductor shield cutback distance and mark with a writing utensil. Next, a constant force spring is wrapped around the insulation at that mark. Using a splicing knife, ring cut the insulation using the constant force spring as a guide. It may be necessary to make multiple passes at the ring cut to cut all the way through. Next, longitudinal cuts may be made from the insulation ring cut to the end of the cable to facilitate removal. The Ulfa adjustable utility knife will be used to accomplish this. Holding the Ulfa knife against the end of the cable, set the blade depth to approximately 95% of the core thickness. When the cuts are being made, be careful not to nick the underlying conductor. Needle nose pliers or channel locks may then be used to remove the insulation piece from the conductor. If necessary, clean the prepared end per the accessory instructions. Examine the end for accidental cuts into the insulation system, flexing the cable if necessary. If everything looks okay, the end is now ready for splicing or terminating.